No bears. <clears throat> Where's my deep warning voice? <laughs> no bears. A deer. Heard some wolves in the distance. <clears throat> and some rain, but we managed. Time to trek some miles. In case you're ever looking for a little roadside snack, fix your eyes on this baby. This would be a walnut tree. These things are so expensive in stores, and I just keep scoring out here. I mean, I, I, I'm gathering more than I can carry. I'm like a little chipmunk preparing for the winter. Yeah, these guys are everywhere. Perfectly in season. Find them on the ground too. Day five, I think I just stumbled on to something very special. It, it's basically shining. No. Wow. Wow, it's pretty strong too. Oh, I'm happy. Cause this is one of the little size difference. That's okay. This is one of the, the goals each day, just to find a good, I don't call them sticks, I call them swords. And I'm a, I'm a dual wielder. I have a short sword, my long sword. If you ask me why, well, I'd have to respond with, you must be a little underread in samurai literature. Short sword and long sword, it's just a classic ronin, ronin technique. Um, very functional for the road. Although many of the people in this trade do opt for the long sword and the long sword only. But this provides many advantages, which I will demonstrate for you at a different time. Right now, still finding my morning flow. Headed for Bosnia. The car is flying by. You gotta keep your head on a swivel. Um, I should be able to hit Bosnia today. We'll see what crossing the border's like. Last night was nothing exciting. Stayed in a little apartment in Slunj. Although I did meet another walker yesterday. Raul, I'll throw his picture up. Cool guy, really cool guy from the Netherlands. And he was walking. Um, he was walking from Istanbul to Spain and then turned around to Italy and was back in Croatia. And he was headed to Bosnia as well. Different route though, but it's funny. You know, the universe just throws people in your life. I mean, after a day of just walking solitary and then another person doing the same thing shows up. You gotta skip all the small talk um, because on a basic level, on a fundamental level, you already agree on certain life philosophies if you're both doing the same thing, living your life the same way. So although he was he was older, not older, but older than me, 44, um, I was just connected off the bat. Very cool guy, shared some wisdom. He said, listen to your body, don't listen to your ego when it's telling you to push further. And he said, the most important lesson he learned on the road, because it's 150 days or 175 days of him ripping road, he said, um, generosity, gratitude. 
and it just happened gratitude. A lot of people helped him along the way. A lot of people helped me along the way, and I just started. And I have gratitude for my new sword, which I gotta test out now. I'm kind of half focused on the camera because I'm really excited just to see how this how this works with my stride. It's really a fun part about every day, guys. I'm not don't let the I'm not trying to undermine the statement here. It's uh you know I don't get attached to them. I kind of replace them every day. I'm a minimalist. Got to practice detachment. But um, when you find a good one and it's functional, well, that's all a guy needs. Open road. Um, I'll stop for a lunch break and I'll show you what's in the bag. We got some good stuff for lunch. Another great lunch. Until it's good. Cooking. Paper bags looking like a little greasy. Got a little meat inside. Absolutely perfect. Now I can't read a lick of that. But my best guess is that they're saying there's a zoo nearby. Let's swing by the zoo. There we are. Water crossing up ahead. Looks pretty quiet. Let's see if they give me any trouble. Uh oh Shouldn't have let this bandit through. That was a mistake. Another beautiful night. It's a sleeping bag. And that... Is a 24-7 bakery. <laughs>